Greetings, Mason Storm here. On today's episode, we're going to be making some sponge cake. Now, this is the type of cake that you use for making more fancy cakes, and it can be eaten with different things. On its own, it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but with creativity, it can be anything. Stay tuned. Ingredients are easy. One teaspoon of baking powder, six eggs, one cup of sugar, one cup of flour. For the creation of this cake, first we need to beat our eggs. So I'm just going to be using my uh, little hand blender here, adding the eggs to them, and then commence the beating process. After a little bit of beating, add a little bit of sugar, beat some more, add some sugar, beat some more, add some sugar. Rinse and repeat till all your sugar is added to your eggs, and then just keep beating the eggs. You have to beat them for quite a long time. Of course, you can throw in the towel and improve the speed by using the motorized blending machine. As soon as you fumble with the lid enough to figure out how to get it to engage, we're good to go. And we're just going to let this thing blend away for about 10 minutes or so. And here we are in the future. I have my nice mixing bowl out here. And it's time to pour in my egg sugar mixture. And once the transference process is completed, we can get our sieve out. We're going to use our sieve to process our baking powder and our flour. So this is one of those, put a little in, run it through the sifter, mix it, and then rinse and repeat till you have all of it combined. Now when you're mixing this, you want to do a little bit more of a folding than a conventional stirring. And you want to make sure that you do stir it enough. I had a couple of clumpies in mind, so I wasn't able to pass the quality off on this sponge cake to my grandfather like I normally would. So that's a little bit unfortunate. I was just a little bit afraid, a little bit too delicate, I guess. But you want to make sure it's mixed enough. But if you overmix it, this it can really ruin it as well. It won't rise right and gremlins will invade your home. It's just not a good situation. So only use the proper exact amount of mixing. Nothing more, nothing less. Anyway, time to move on. So I got a cake pan here this is a 12 inch I think um, you should be able to make two 9 inch pans and I just have a little sheet of parchment in the bottom of there so it's gonna release a little bit easier than normal and then we'll throw this in the oven preheated already to 350 degrees and we're just gonna let that cook for about 25 minutes plus or minus three minutes and then once your cakes done cooking just leave it out to uh, cool off for a little while before trying to do anything with it. As you can see here, mine's uh, cool off to the point that I can touch the pan. I think that's kind of a good starting point. And then we can take it out and if you want to cut it into layers and do a bunch of fanciness, you can do that now. You can really go to town with this cake, make it into anything you want. I'm just having off a little bit of ice cream, some coffee, delicious. So let me know in the comments below how you make your sponge cake or if you have some crazy techniques I should know about just let me know if you like my content please like and subscribe and until next time stay awesome